Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118. Last episode, we made this amazing pickaxe, and in this episode, we are going to be trying to finish it off and getting into the pouches mod. For our very first pouch, we're going to need a few things, mainly a whole heckin' lot of Laramar 12, uh, a bundle, and this magic silk block, which is just, you know, a block form of silk, so I'm going to go craft all that stuff up and get to you guys when I've got it ready. Alrighty. I actually have enough ingredients to make two pouches, yes, two pouches, because they hold a decent amount of items, you can see, it's about a, uh, what is that, a regular chest's worth, but I want two because you can find a huge variety of items in the vault. Also, notice these two slots? Yeah, pouches can be upgraded, and right now with the pouches mod, we have the stack upgrade tier 1 which is even more Laramar, some vault diamonds, even more Laramar, and even more silk, and the, what is it? Oh, it's, I believe it's called the pickup upgrade. Yes, the pickup upgrade. Super expensive. Chromatic steel ingots, two vault magnets, and each vault magnet is another vault diamond and two more chromatic steel ingots. Whew. And once again, this upgrade base. So, they're pretty expensive, but the stack upgrade allows you to hold two stacks instead of just one in each of these slots, and the pickup upgrade sucks up items from the ground, so instead of it going into your inventory, it goes right into your pouch. That being said, we are flat broke on carbon as well as chromatic steel, so we can't actually create the pickup upgrade. I think I have a magnet laying around somewhere. Only one, yeah, but only one, and we need two, so we actually have to run a vault before we can get a pickup upgrade. That being said, I'm going to put stack upgrades on both of these guys. Upgrade base, and a stack upgrade. Okay, that was pretty expensive. What? Oh! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Cool. So now in this guy, I can throw in an unobtainium. And another, yeah, two stacks of unobtainium, 128 in one slot. Super cool. Be honest, that was pretty expensive. Um, but no, we have a ton of Laramar. Yeah, I'll do it for the other guy. And boom, two pouches with stack upgrades. One of these pouches, I'll say this guy, is actually going to go on our back slot. Because we can now open that pouch with a hotkey. I've bound it to a mouse key of mine. You can see I'm not holding a pouch. And I press, there we go. So I'm actually going to put our blocks in this one, as well as stuff like vault gold, idols, the shovel that I bring into the vault just in case. So we have just like instant access just like that to this little pouch. And then this guy I'm going to be dumping my items into. Uh, and eventually he'll have a stack upgrade on him. I'm probably going to end up putting a, or rather a pickup upgrade. I might put a pickup upgrade on this guy as well, just, you know, so that he can still take some of the items since this little guy is a little tiny guy, you know, a little, little tiny guy. Oh, that's cool. You can hover over them and hold shift. Whoa, that looks neat. Anyways, I'm going to keep this axe in here. If you remember, this was, you know, our spare axe. Um, we're testing it against this sword. And then I'm going to put this pickaxe in here as a spare pickaxe for, like, picking up ores and stuff. Because I don't necessarily want to blow through the durability of this pickaxe on ores and things. I'd rather keep it to spawners and chests. And for now, that's all we really have access to in terms of the pouches mod, because, I mean, we're flat broke on chromatic steel. Once we get the pickup upgrade, things are going to be a lot different, though. I suppose all that's left to do is to run this vault, but we need 49 raw cod. Um, is there an easier way to get raw cod than fishing and or killing? Nope. Uh, I could kill penguins, I guess. You can kill cod, you can kill dolphin. Elder guardians, sure, that, that feels like a good idea. Yeah, all right. Well, looks like I need to go find 49 cod. Do I even have any cod? No. I, I suppose I could go fishing for it, but I don't really desire to fish for the next hour of my life, so... Hmm. You know what, before I go on a cod adventure, I want to make another warp stone, especially considering the fact that we uh, accidentally made an extraordinary Laramar earlier, so it's kind of like we haven't spent anything. Because I believe this can be used as a tool to teleport. 
I'm just gonna have it in my inventory. I'm not gonna pop it right now for fear that it'll take some durability, but I'm gonna be flying out to an ocean, so I kinda wanna have a quick way to return to the base. Hopefully that works that way and I don't have to fly back because, you know, flying back's kind of annoying and I don't like doing it. I'm a lazy little guy. You know, I want things done as fast as possible. Like cod, but... Uh, okay, definitely enough cod, and I'm pretty sure if I... Ooh. Oh. Oh, cool. What? They killed it. Oh, it's a cooldown. Oh my gosh, I thought it was one-time use. I was... I... That... Wow, that was terrifying. <laughs> okay. Ooh, just just to cool down, just to cool down. Great. Okay, that was a great investment. Also, if I'm a little quieter than normal, I'm recording late at night because I just have an itch to play Vault Hunters, man. I just, like, I recorded those last two episodes back to back considering they were, you know, accidentally a part one and a part two. And uh, industry secret, I'm recording this one after uploading them back to back. Like, I am just, I've been playing Vault Hunters all day. I don't know if it's going to show in the way that I'm talking. Uh, seagrass, I didn't know seagrass could show up on this, but I am just like, I am in the mood, dude. I should probably have blocks in my inventory. Also, we have this amazing bounty to kill just zombies. The boots are level 12, so a little lower than us, but we get some knowledge essence, gold, a level 12 vault, ax, and diamonds, and mystery, like it's just a good one. And I mean, it's zombies, right? If we get a zombie vault, it won't be too bad. I don't know why I still have this chest here, but I'm going to leave it because I'm a rebel. Yeah. And this rebel wants to run vaults. Yeah. Am I just barely not in the portal? Wow, that is embarrassing. Yeah. Why do I embarrass myself? Just a vault. Okay. Uh, ooh, scavenger vault. Hmm, I'm going to say, okay, the ornate's pretty tough, but everything else is not that bad. Oh, it is so nice to have that speed again. Wow, ah, so much better. Hmm, the axe does not feel that, oh, I don't think the axe feels that good. I think I'm going to stick with the sword. It's possible with some wild focusing, the axe would be better, right? Like, if if we could get the axe to have a few better, like, something better than, like, baneful, right? Maybe some additional damage or whatnot. That might be interesting. Actually, I should take everything out of the chests. Yeah, I should, I should. Because I'm going to dump it all into my, into my pouch. But I don't want to dump scavenger items now that I think about it. So I'll have to be, I'll have to be cautious about that. But yeah, the pouch will just, bum, 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 bum. yeah, hold all this goodness, all this goodness. So now I can loot a lot more recklessly, right? Yeah, nice. And check this out. Oh, cool. We don't have to open them up anymore. I don't know if that's faster right now. <laughs> oh, might be, it might be. We'll have to see. Dumping some more loot, and it is almost full. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I think right now it's faster to do this. Interesting, interesting. That's okay, though. It'll certainly be faster, I think, to do the wooden chests, because the wooden chests break instantly instead of the gilded chests, which kind of, like, pop around like that. But once we have a magnet and the pickup upgrade, it will definitely be faster to use the pickaxe, because instead of having to, like, go through and drop items or go through and, like, pick up items the pouch will just suck up everything that the magnet has been sucking up. Ooh, ornates, this could be good. Uh, will this break before I get smacked around? Yep, because it's super duper fast. So exciting. You, ju you just have to love it. Oh, ornates and live. I mean, this could be the end of the vault right here. Uh, I'll start with the ornates. Uh, funny enough, rarer than what we're looking for. Hmm. Not bad. Okay. And nothing in that one. Oh, is that it for the ornate? Oh, okay. Guess the we're not ending the vault there, huh? Dump the things. And then open this guy. Dump the things. Uh, I'll dump cage dust. It counts. Okay. We'll loot the wooden chest first, you know, to build suspense. And then I just want to show off that, yes, I could break these, like, uh, gilded chests as well. Isn't that cool? 
All right, now we're just looking for skeleton. Sh oh, there. Okay, there's a skeleton shard. All right, all right. That's good. That's good. And another one just for the road. Nice, nice. Oh, I see our nates down there. Okay. One second. Down. Wow. Yeah, I really feel like I still need new actual like armor gear because enemies are. I I I don't know. I feel like they're hitting way too hard. Like trucks, man. Everything just takes off so much health. This new heal is super helpful, though. I gotta say, the new heal definitely was a good idea. Uh, oh, I got excited. I thought that was a saddlebag. Just a sec. Oh my gosh. That's that's it. That has got to be one of the fastest completions we've ever... Wow. And that has got to be one of the most dangerous combinations we've ever had. Two bow skeletons. Two bow skeletons from a single POI. Nasty business. Okay. I, uh, I uh, oh, do I complete the vault right here, right now? I, I don't know if I should. I mean, I could. I literally, I literally could. Like, there's this. Put that in there. I'll get the saddlebag in there, and then all it is is the black mob essence, which we literally have in the inventory. Hmm. That, this has never happened before. This is, um, this is kind of a new thing for us. <laughs> An awesome new thing. Don't get me wrong. This is incredible. Look at all this scavenger stuff we can soul diffuse once we have a soul diffuser i mean this is great i say we push it for a little bit longer right see what we can see maybe get a xenium right maybe get some you know more valkyr crafting stuff you know, important stuff like that but i definitely don't want to push this vault much further than it already is because i'm not looking to die here hmm you know, with only eight or so minutes left, I think I'm actually going to try to find a non-fizzle spawner and just grind out zombies, you know? I think that might be my best bet. Well, we didn't complete it. We're pretty close, but I'm not going to kill myself on a completion. I suppose I have a few more seconds to kill zombies. Gives you a few. Uh, might as well. <laughs> I wonder if this even counts. I guess it would, because I'm still, like, in the vault, right? Can you die during those 15 seconds and, like, lose everything? That'd be- that'd be horrible. Ooh, 8,000! Honestly, I thought I would have more mobs unalived, but I ended up with, uh, 87 zombies, so... Not too bad, not too shabby at all. But, of course, we get our handy-dandy completion crate. Very excited. Let me sort this stuff out, though. Huh? What the? Okay. Wow, there sure are a lot of vault junk items. Good lord. But we got a ton of loot between our two little pouches. And what's amazing is if I click on this little brain guy, I can select all of these and that turns this into a memory. That's right. This pouch now remembers so if I take items out, you'll see it'll remember what slot they go in and put those items and only those items back into the slots. Super helpful. I can even do the same with the one here. I'll grab a memory slot. And then of course, if we get a new item, I'll put it in there. I will eventually organize this stuff, but I kind of don't want to right now. Boy, oh boy, we are going to be filling this up with garbage super fast. But we have a scavenger crate and some gambling boxes. As always, boost your packs first. Nice. Then mystery boxes. Ooh, Laramar and Rudidai. Very nice. That's not too bad. And then, of course, a boom. <gasps> oh, mama. A trinket? Amplifying focuses? Vault shield? And do I see refined carbon? Oh, wow. Oh, and a sword. Oh, my gosh. Huh. That's, uh, that's a pretty good completion crate. If people weren't sleeping in this house right now, I'd be hooting and hollering. But there's people sleeping in the house. So I'm not going to hoot. I'm not going to holler. I'm going to roll my gear and see what I get. Alrighty. We got a poison plus cloud, nine and a half attack. Nah, just a bad sword. And the shield. Ooh, 10% block chance. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the new shield. <laughs> that's a max roll. Um, why is it raining? Why is it? Oh, why is it? Why is it always raining? 
why it's not as I'm gonna I'm gonna tinker with this even before I do my trinket. Just wanna see what we can get. Thorns, nah. Health and durability? Sure. Health, durability, and weakness cloud. I like it. I also really like that gold plated shield, but this is just a just a, a de definite upgrade. I lose a half a heart, I suppose, but that's fine. I don't care. Alrighty. I gotta roll this trinket. Oh man, we can get some amazing things from this. Or, I mean, we can get night vision goggles again, but I'd like not to. Oh, 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 oh no. No. Oh, okay. Alright. I mean, that. Mmm. That stings. That hurts. I, ca I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I. I memed about it, and then it happened. Oh, just my luck. Just my luck, isn't it? Ah. <sighs> hey. That seal. Hmm. Do you guys remember those blank seals I've been simping over? I think it's high time we use one of them. Yeah, seals modify the vault, and I'm getting three buckets of milk for a cake, because a turton, a turton, because a certain seal you can make is called a cake hunt seal, and it turns the objective of a vault to a cake hunt. Okay, so with the crafted crystal, you combine it in an anvil. And it exhausts it, right? So it's the last thing you add to a crystal. You can't modify it afterwards. It even tells you the layout, actually. This turns it into a spiral-shaped vault. But this vault is now a special one. A cake vault. I loved cake vaults in the old version of Vault Hunters. And from what I'm aware, they're even better this time around. Without further ado, I mean, I'm just going to run right in there, right? <laughs> my screen is pink because here's the cake you have to eat the cake and it opens up the next room Ooh, we have 27 cakes yes 27 cakes and by the way i don't actually have to mark because this vault generates only in a spiral okay cool so my screen is going to turn pink when i am near the cake right now i'm actually going to get this opulent real quick because i'd like a little opulence in my life opulence uh, oh, ornate. That was a good ornate. My screen's pink around like this area or so. Perhaps the cake is in here, right? And that's basically how you do it, right? You just run around trying to find out where the cake is. It's super fun. It's super exciting. Uh, you can usually find a lot of good moments, but there's actually more to it than just that, which we might see once I actually find this cake. Oh, pretty pink. Close. We're close. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. <laughs> okay, we didn't get anything there, but you'll see this vault is a spiral. We can now spiral this way. And the rooms are locked, by the way. Uh, ah, spiraled the wrong way. Okay, so it is a north-facing spiral. That was silly of me, which means west is next? No. Or do I... Like, oh, east. Okay, so it's spiraling eastward. Okay, that was goofy of me. Unfortunately, I've wasted a lot of time... We're not at a good pace to complete the vault, but that's completely okay. Cake vaults are mostly just fun. And I will get to you when the special little something happens. Ah, here we are. There it is. Ooh, added injured though. But we just got a modifier. That's right. Whenever you find a cake in a cake vault, you have a chance of getting modifier. We got injured, which takes away an entire heart of health. That really sucks. But you can build up some pretty incredible modifiers. So I'm actually just going to run through this vault. I'm not really going to focus on looting unless I see something immediately. Like these like these ornate chests. But otherwise, I'm going to focus on finding the cakes and building up... Whoa. Building up modifiers. I don't know if I made it very clear, but you cannot roll a cake vault randomly like a scavenger or a monolith vault. You have to modify the crystal, and that was a really easy cake. Very nice. We're going to need some more of those. Ooh, and wealthy. So that means in the next room and every room after, we're going to have the wealthy modifier. So it's going to start spreading coins around the rooms. That's awesome. Aha, cake. Living. Excellent. Living and wealthy. Good combination. 
yeah, it's too bad that I ran the timer so hard, but oh dear. Okay, so this is something that can happen in Cake Vaults. You can sometimes roll a really hard room, just like this one. <laughs> Though, hey, this might complete our zombie bounty. Well, I guess for the first time in this series, I am going to try to conquer a challenge room. What is this one? The factory room? So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to conquer this one. But it's for the cake vault. Ooh. I got oh, there's the completed bounty, so at least there's that, right? I guess I could kinda like run in, but I don't really want to rush in because, you know, I don't wanna die. And here I am rushing in. Alright. That's my that could have killed me right there. Yeah, alright. I see the error of my ways. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Well, goodbye cake vault number one. I wish I could have gotten more than seven, but factory rooms, eh, they're, they're kind of the Grim Reaper. Ooh, not a bad amount of XP though. And I mean, I can't be too mad about completing a bounty. Now can I get some boots to roll? And I think I'm gonna take uh, this completion one because of the vault alloy, which jeez we need. Okay. That was a decent vault. We got everything sorted. These pouches make it so much easier. And we're going to pop open this guy. Let's do RNG first. Ah. All right. Diamonds. Not bad. And then we'll do, I guess, more RNG boots and axe. Though, to be honest, I don't know that boots and axe are going to really be beating anything we've got. Oh, a rare axe, though. Hold on. Hold on. Three armor. Yeah, get out of my face. 11 attack damage with an empty prefix, 5% increased damage, and poison... Yeah, uh, 11 attack damage. I don't like it. I don't even think it's worth it. To, I, I, I need a fundamental focus. If I had a fundamental focus, I could... Um, well, I wouldn't use it on this, to be honest. I could use a fundamental focus on that epic axe. That would be awesome. But both of these things, the fundamentals are just bad. I'm actually going to continue... I'm going to take that vault gold into the vaults with me. Nice. Very nice. Yes. Great. That's, uh, that's a significant portion of our resources. But uh, I guess I'll put it in this one to start. If I pop that in there, that means that anytime any of this is dropped on the ground here, I'll, I'll demo with some vault plating. I can throw this vault plating on the floor. And when I pick it up, it doesn't go into my inventory. It goes right into my pouch. That is pretty freaking sweet. Combine that with actually using a magnet, which admittedly, we have a magnet. Like, it's not even that broken. I wonder if I can enchant it with unbreaking. Nope. Magnets cannot be enchanted with unbreaking. That's kind of sad. But magnets can be modified. Yeah. Let's say... Mana efficiency... Uh... Mana efficiency... Mana efficiency... Durability. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Great. I don't actually know how much mana efficiency affects the magnet, but I do know that magnets take mana, and that obviously is a little scary considering the fact that all of our healing is tied to mana. But that means that all I've got to do is just uh, drop the items on the ground now. It'll suck up right into my inventory get beamed right into this pouch. Uh, I'd really like a you know pickup upgrade for this one as well. But, you know, once again, beggars, we cannot be choosers. And this beggar is completely flat broke on the, I think it's what, four chromatic steel? No, uh, six chromatic steel required to create a pickup upgrade. So uh, we're going to have to wait. Looks like on our quest for more mods, we have almost exactly as much as we need in Knowledge Essence for one more mod. Our Vault Diamonds are looking pretty sad because we've been blowing through them, and our Beniatite supplies is actually pretty solid. Beniatite is not a problem right now, which is amazing. I'm very happy to hear that. Our Xenium is still garbage, so I'm going to be looking for it, and I'm probably going to run some vaults off camera. In fact, I know for a fact I'm going to run some vaults on camera because I'm a little addict. And hopefully I'll come back to you with a Xenium Ore in my hands and another pickup upgrade in the other pouch. That is unfortunately all the time we have for this episode, though. I'm going to run a bunch of vaults off camera, be like, I don't know, level 15 or so when I come back. Next episode, we'll go over the loot and do a little bit of base cleanup. I, I think, yeah, we're looking a little messy over here. So I've got some plans on how to clean this spot up. But until then, 
I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.